Golf Central on YouTube. Brought to you by the Chrome Soft Golf Ball from Callaway. Hello, I'm Cara Banks. Thank you for tuning in to this Golf Central special where we take a minute to check in on the opening round of the CJ Cup in Las Vegas. Second straight year, it hasn't been able to be contested in South Korea due to travel restrictions. But take a look at what Robert Streb did today. An 11 under par 61 in a round that included a bogey, but also an eagle. He was seven under through his first six holes and spoke to our Kira K. Dixon after. Did you wake up this morning thinking that you were going to come out here and shoot a career low round? No. <laughs> uh, it's just uh, yeah, trying to get up and moving and, and wake up. And, um, yeah, nothing super exciting in the warm-up, but um, I was I was off and going before I knew it. And, uh, yeah, it just kind of kept coming pretty easy and um, flattened out a little in the middle, but uh, mm -hmm. really, really good day. Let's start with the eagle on three. Can you walk us through that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, kind of a skinny fairway there um happened to hit it and was just trying to do my best to get my hybrid to the front edge there and um turned out about as good as you could hope for and uh happened to make that slippery little putt mm -hmm. how impressive was that last birdie on 18 your caddy steve told me that you were dealing with some mud balls as well there uh, yeah I, i'd hit a really good drive and uh had a lot of mud and so i, I was trying to hit this nice low um, four iron just to try to keep it from turning very much. Hit it heavy. Um, knocked it on the green there, and the mud was still on the ball and um, felt pretty fortunate I made the putt. Mm -hmm. uh, what does one do after shooting their career low round? What's your evening going to look like? Uh, probably nothing too exciting. <laughs> just a uh, little practice, some dinner, and call the kids, and that'll be about it. All right, good. So nothing too exciting, even though we're in Vegas. Uh, it probably should be more exciting, but it's not. <laughs> okay, well. Well, he wasn't the only one going low today. Good to see some form out of Ricky Fowler after he missed the cut by a single stroke at the Shriners Children's Open last week at TPC Summerlin. Spent that weekend off in Vegas. Some good time with his old coach, Butch Harmon. It's paid off today. Six under 66, including four consecutive birdies, holes five through eight. And he went bogey free and also spoke to Kara. Ricky, a great way to start the tournament. Uh, what were you concentrating on coming into this week? Uh, building off last week, I had a, I had a nice finish on Friday. Uh, unfortunate to miss the cup I won, but um, some hard work over the six-week break that I had before coming to Vegas. Um, I, I knew it was the right stuff. It's been paying off. Um, so really just sticking, kind of just picking spots, hitting shots, trusting swings. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Left some out there today, but I'm definitely happy with the start and uh, feel comfortable around this place. You know, Summit's a place that I've spent a, a little bit of time at before, but um, definitely thankful to CJ for having me here and uh, trying to take advantage of that. I understand you spent a little bit of time with Butch Harmon while, while you've been out here. What's something that you guys have been working on? Uh, yeah, so I, I mean, obviously having the weekend off last week, um, the course here was closed and I wanted to hit balls. So it's always fun to catch up with Butchie. Um, he's just, he's someone that's just fun to be around. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, it was, it was nice. Got to use the facility over there, hit some balls. And for me, for the most part, since I worked with him for, for such a long time and kind of the, the middle part of my career there, um, I think just getting kind of like his stamp of approval. He loved everything that t uh, Tillery and I were working on. Um, and so it was just fun to be around him. Um, he was excited to see Allison. And um, so spent some time with him, his wife, Christy, as well. Like I said, it's just fun to be around. And um, like I say he loved what we were working on. So just said, uh, go play and keep trusting it. Well, one further back of Ricky Fowler is... Uh... The Summit Club's own member, Colin Morikawa, went round in a five under par 67 today on a golf course that he knows well. Previously carded a 62 on this layout, and he took a moment to speak after his round also. It was a weird feeling teeing off on one at a course that I've played a lot. You know, Summit's obviously a wonderful course, and I think uh, a lot of the viewers, you know, on TV are going to see how beautiful it is. Um, but yeah, you know, I had to focus up, and, um, you know, it wasn't a great round but it was a solid round um, obviously there's going to be a lot of low scores out here there's going to be a lot of birdies and um, I didn't make too many mistakes obviously I had a three putt but um, kept it in there and was able to make a couple birdies uh, in the last couple holes Okay, and that, what's the difference between that you are 
played the summit as a, like um, as a yeah as practice, practice and normal, yeah. but the, the competition is conditions. Yeah, you know, a few tee shots out here that I never take iron off that I lay up. I'm always hitting driver, um, <laughs> and I just you know I just have to pay attention a little more. I have to be you know, active and in, in watching where to hit it, where to miss it. Um, I just have to be a little more attentive to, to what's around because, you know, out here there still are penalties, and if you, you know, get a little lazy and you hit a bad shot, it can cost you, uh, you know, potentially the round, uh, you know, with the momentum. So I had to just pay a little more attention during these uh, four rounds. Okay, and then you play with Song Jae and then the Hideki. Mm -hmm. How was your, your round with them? It's great. Um, you know, we all had some pretty good rounds. We were making birdies. Um, we didn't. No one was on fire, but you know, we, we were staying consistent. Not a lot of bogeys within our group. Uh, maybe only a couple. Um, so, you know, that's what's good. You, you kind of feed off that momentum, and hopefully, we can just you know drop a few more putts tomorrow. Well, like Morikawa, also making his first start since the Ryder Cup at Whistling Straits is Rory McIlroy, who, other than that triple bogey seven at 17, had a pretty good round himself today. Four under par 68. And he is with Kira K. Dixon. This is kind of a, a place where one bad shot, you were just saying, can, can derail a round, but you were able to certainly keep it on track. How would you describe the day? Yeah, it was it was really good apart from one bad swing. I, I missed a three-wood on 17 right, uh, messed around in the rocks a little bit over there and ended up making a seven. But, you know, it was sort of JT did a, a similar thing on nine, uh, Jason did a similar thing on 12, so it just mm -hmm. it's one of those courses, if you just keep it in play, it, it's, it's obviously very scorable, but if you, you know, hit a couple just offline and you get a, a bad break or a little unlucky, um, you can make a big number, and, and I did that on 17, but the, the other 17 holes were, were really good. Well, on the positive, you were able to have a great bounce back on the very next hole with that birdie on 18. How much confidence did you get from pulling off the birdie on the next hole? Yeah, I, I think um, confidence just with how I hit it all day. I, I I hit, you know, I missed a couple of drives, but I hit my irons really well. I putted well, um, so I, I did a really good job of just trusting my reads and having acceptance whether the ball went in or not. And um, you know, it added up to a good putting round and and nearly a, a really good round overall, just apart from that blemish on 17. But you know, still a good day. All right, thanks, Ray. Thank you. Well, the European Tour are at Valderrama this week for the Andalusia Masters. It is a former Ryder Cup venue, famed, of course in the world of European golf. John Rahm, you will notice the world number one got off to one of his worst starts in his professional career, opening with a seven over par 78 and has some work to do if he wants to play the weekend. Rafa Cabrera Bello is looking to go back to back after winning his home Spanish Open last week. Well, let's take a look at what you can watch here on Golf Channel on Friday. It all begins with second round coverage from the European Tour at 8 a.m. Eastern. We will get you set for the day on Golf Central at 1 p.m. Eastern time before sending you out to live first round coverage on the PGA Tour Champions at 2 p.m. PGA Tour will kick off at 5 p.m. and we will wrap up the day at 8 p.m. Eastern as the PGA Tour is enjoying another week in Sin City.